we got a no tip offer right here. Two dollars seventy five cents for one point five miles. Now, do not try this at home. I want to warn you. OK, but we finna go ahead and do a little experiment. We finna deliver to this non tipper and we finna see if they leave a cash tip because a lot of folks be saying, oh, some people tip in cash, blah, 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 yada, 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 right? Man, I've been doing DoorDash for years. Not that many people tip in cash. And when they do, it's normally on like a pizza order or something like that, you know? And 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 honestly, the t out of all the deliveries, let me see, I probably did at least 6,000 deliveries on DoorDash alone. That's not even counting Uber Eats and Grubhub food dudes and look, Customers don't be tipping in cash. If a customer is going to tip you, they're going to tip in the app. Especially customers that are used to ordering on the app. They have become familiarized and, you know, basically trained to tip on the app if they going to tip. Now, back in the day, you probably could expect more frequency of cash tips on your deliveries. Because back in the day, it was mostly pizza delivery, Chinese food delivery. You know, but in the last decade, this food delivery thing went crazy with these food delivery apps, right? So here's the thing. If you a new DoorDash driver out there, you should not be doing what I'm doing right here in this video. That's first and foremost. What you should be doing is focus on miles to money ratio and delivering to customers that respect you and appreciate your time and energy. Because it takes time, energy, gas, you know, perseverance, all of that to get these orders done. And the main thing is, look, if you are here delivering to non-tippers, you need to make sure you got you some protection, okay? You can't be out here raw dogging these deliveries if you're doing no-tip orders. You need to have some type of contraceptive, some type of protection between you and this non-tipper. So what we gonna do is when we get ready to deliver this order, I will be putting on my non-tipper protection. So just in case, they try to hit me with a bad rating or, you know, try to say order never arrived or none of that. I got all my protections, all my contraceptives on deck. So we're going to be good to go. Hawaiian Bros is right up there. But wouldn't you know, it? we just caught a bunch of traffic. This is crazy. Why would you give me traffic and I'm delivering to a non-tipper? Now, the good thing is the order is coming right back over this way. So that's a plus. But let me know in the comments below. How many non-tippers do you encounter on a daily basis? And would your life be better and more profitable if you didn't encounter those non-tippers? I'm gonna let you know right now. Your boy been trying out DoorDash earned by time, trying to raise my acceptance rate, and man, man, man. First and foremost, it's a scam because multiple days in a row, I've done multiple orders in a row, and, and I was stuck at a certain percentage. So that's when it finally hit me like, look, they ain't gonna get me up to 50% unless I go a streak of taking really, really bad orders and not making no money. And that's something I'm not willing to do. So I said, you know what? We going back to earn by offer. And I know I will still see bad offers over there. I know I will. But at least I don't have the restriction of only being able to decline one per hour because that's the main thing, you know? It, you need to have the freedom and flexibility to decline these trash offers from these trash customers so that you can make your money, you know? I tried to get up to 70, but I didn't even make it close, guys, because when it comes to the customer ratio from good to bad customer, the bad customers are beating out the good customers as far as how frequently they ordering, how much they want their food, and it's making it hard on the dashes. Now, we got a customer right here, Rashad Alexander. Hell yeah. He got him a Halulu. He got a double Halulu chicken order. So at least he ain't order one thing. Let's see if this guy is actually going to tip in cash because, again, cash tips are very, very rare when it comes to the DoorDash platform. If you get a cash tip, it's more than likely a one-off occurrence and it's more likely to happen on something like a pizza order because pizza customers are used to tipping from how things were in the past before these delivery apps hit the scene. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not finna trip, but this is for research purposes. I know it's a lot of new dashers that watch this channel and they ask me all the time, hey, how do you know if an order has tips on it? Well, if you see an order with the dollar amount that I just showed you and the mileage I just showed you, that's a no tip order. 
Here go Hawaiian Bros right here. We pulling up. We about to see what's going on. They got the curbside pickup. So that's nice because uh, I'm not trying to be hopping out the whip for a no-tip Timmy. That's for sure. And if you if you delivering to no-tip Timmy's, make sure that you hit that little message. You know, you see that little chat message box right there? You hit that. And it should pull up an in-app chat allowing you to take a picture as you handing them the order. That's what we're going to do. And if that don't work, if I click that and they have no number associated with their DoorDash account allowing me to take that picture, sending it to them easy, I'm going to click that little question mark up there and I'm going to send my picture straight to support chat so the DoorDash algorithm knows that there has been a picture of me handing them this order and there will be no confusion. So we here, we finna pick up Rashad order. They gonna bring it right out. Hawaiian Bros is a good merchant. You know, a lot of times I pick up her, I be getting great customers. I don't really see a lot of no tip orders coming out of her, but it's definitely something that can happen. So you gotta make sure that you're ready. Now I'm gonna wait for them to come on out. It usually don't take them too long, but we gonna see. All right, Rashad, we got your order. It looks like Rashad paid about Let's see what this receipt say. Let's have a look at this receipt real quick so we can see how much he paid because he's a non-tipper. He paid, our non-tipper paid $23. Then after DoorDash delivery fee, which was $6. Damn, that's high. He paid a $2 in tax. So he paid $23 for the food, basically $24. Then he paid another $9 in tax. So yeah, you know, you you spend 24 bucks on DoorDash, you're going to spend an extra nine bucks in DoorDash fees and taxes. By the time it's all said and done, your $23 order costs you 32. And that's is this is why broke people shouldn't order DoorDash because obviously this customer's broke. He need a discount. But it's all good. We're going to go ahead and deliver this order to this little no tip Timmy. We're going to see what's going on. No tip Alexander. We finna so it looks like we head into the Goodwill building and look at that. Hand to me tell a cashier order for Rashad don't you worry Rashad we will be doing that and if this was a back in the day I might even ask you a couple questions but it's not about that it's about informing new drivers why we shouldn't deliver to customers like yourself Rashad so you know what I'm not mad that you placed this no tip order I'm really not I'm actually quite happy because now you have given me the opportunity to showcase why we shouldn't count on a customer to tip us in cash if they took all that extra time to back out the recommended tip and put in all zeros they trash and we should not expect extra from trash they was already trash when they placed the order therefore they are not going to become not trash in the midst of you facilitating a delivery it doesn't make sense guys so look we right down the street that's a good thing at least he didn't order from very very far away but still though it doesn't matter how far away it is i don't care if it's going right next door if you can't put a tip on there and respect your drivers, we have no respect for you. So we finna go ahead, pull up to good old Rashad, let him know what's up, let him know we got his order. And we finna, we not finna ask him for a tip, we not finna pressure him, we just gonna see. We just gonna see if this one DoorDash customer can tip the scales in the other direction and, and you know, give the customers a good, a good look for once, you know. Let's get let's get a customer giving a live cash tip on a no tip order that's not pizza. Let's get that and share it out to the community so that we can have faith in our customers again that they do value us as drivers. Now, my hopes is not really high for this order because I know what I'm getting myself into. But again, this is just for educational purposes, guys. I was actually getting ready to make my video in the back of Walmart and they sent me this order. I said, you know what? This is a great learning opportunity because if it would have been too far i definitely wouldn't have took it but since it only had a one mile delivery distance i was like okay i can take a chance on an order like this if it ain't no tip no harm no foul i have not driven very very far but again i highly advise that you do not do the things that you see me do in today's video do not accept the no tip offer for research purposes let me handle that for you let me test out these nine tippers feelings and emotions on any given day because look, you're gonna lose money taking orders like this. You're gonna put more wear and tear on your car and you should not be depending on DoorDash base pay to make the money because we know DoorDash ain't paying nothing. And we know it's non-tippers out there. You know, we do 
want them to show us a little bit of dignity, uh, kindness and respect so that we can, you know, have some dignity out here delivering this food. But that's asking a lot in 2024. Let's face it, most of the customers on DoorDash, they are advertising to the poorest in your, in your community. You know, they market into the folks who don't got cars, want the cheapest food and want it fast. And that's not a good recipe for delivery drivers to make money. Because what's happening is you're gonna get your market flooded with people who think that they can get their food on discount and, deli and, and, and free delivery when it should be the opposite. We should be facilitating orders to customers who got extra money. They don't care about putting a couple extra dollars on top of that order. They don't care about paying a, a, a little upcharge on their food because they didn't want to go get it. They don't mind. These are the kind of customers that we should always be dealing with, guys. Now, look, thank you for listening to my long little rant. We at Goodwill now. This is where Rashad work at. Now, Goodwill got cheap stuff, but they pay good, though. So it don't really make sense that, you know, one of their associates out here placing these orders and not tipping. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm hold out a little bit of hope because I'm giving him a chance. But if he think I'm going to leave this at the counter... He got another thing coming, that's for sure. No, sir. So look, we finna go ahead, go right here. Now, if I click this, it should pop up an in-app chat, but it did not. So since it did not pop up the in-app chat, what I'm finna do is I'm finna go ahead, click this. Then I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and click Dash Your Help. Once I click Dash Your Help, I'm gonna click that, get a message box going. Now that we've done that, we are gonna click that little button right there and we are gonna be able to take a photo. Yes, sir. Rashad about to eat good today. Let's see if he a cash tipper. Most non-tippers do not tip in cash. That is a fact. But if you think we leaving this with somebody else, he got another thing coming. That's not happening. Fact, let me go ahead and click the button too before I forget. We got a no tip order for Rashad. How you doing? Um, I got order for Rashad. I got it for you. Oh no, he got to come get this. You know, he a nine tipper, so he tried to you know be slick. I made that. <laughs> <laughs> you see how they do? She say, like, oh, I got it. No. Tell him bring his non-tipping ass up here. He know. He say, I'm going to hide in the back because I don't like the tip. He said what? He, he hide in the back because he don't like the tip. Oh, he ain't tip? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said he did tip. No, if he did, I'd have just left it and dip. I'm weak. Yeah, he a non-tipper, so he won't. He want you to, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, I got you. It ain't your order. It's his order. <laughs> I showed me tipping. Yeah, that's why you good. He ain't, nah, he know what he did. <laughs> you know what he did. Hell yeah. Tell him, look. Can you say that again for me? Can you say that again for me? <laughs> Hell yeah. Don't I would say, do you do you do you do you order and not tip? There you go. It's it's very, very simple. Very simple. Rashad don't get it. Maybe he got cash, but now nah, he's trying to hide in the back, so I don't believe it. I just want to look him in his face when I give it to him. That's all. That's him right there. Oh man, my peoples. Come on, man. Come on, man. You were shot? Yeah. Here, man. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. No, you got it. <laughs> That's messed up. It be your own people that don't tip. It be your own people. And you see, he tried to hide his ass in the back. Hell no, nah, boy. Don't try to hide in the back. You know you didn't tip on this order. I ain't say nothing to him, no, but uh, he know what's up. He know I made him come up there and feel embarrassed. So let's go ahead and confirm that. No tip, zero dollar tip, 275. No cash tip. Don't deliver to clowns. Clowns, it's not my car. Clowns like to hide in the back. They like to hide in the back and try to get somebody else to accept the food. No, you clown DoorDash customer. Put a tip on that order or you might get put on blast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.